Hey, my name is Henry Morales. I'm a local Las Vegas artist, and I am painting today outside for the Zap 10 uh, electrical box project. Hi, I'm Lois Esparza out here painting here on Walnut and Cheyenne with Jesus Orozco, my assistant, and we're painting the Fiesta for family and friends. Hi, I'm Emily Alley, and I'm one of the artists for Zap 10. Hi. Shala Art, S-H-A-L-L-A, -L -L -A, Shala Art. And um, I'm doing this, these beautiful murals for Zap 10. Hi, I'm, my name is Abby and I'm a local artist here in Las Vegas. I'm out here doing Zap 10 and I hope you'll be able to come by and see the boxes. People are just asking questions of like why I'm out here, if it's legal that I'm out here. <laughs> um, just asking um, what I'm going to be painting and um, yeah, people are just generally curious when they pass by. Most have been very positive. They come out here, you know, we don't get too many pedestrians here. But when we have, um, they like the colors, they like the idea of um, the county painting utility boxes. It's actually kind of awesome because there's been especially a lot of kids that have walked by that are like going to the park or just kind of walking up and down the street asking me. I have had some kids ask me to like take their picture with me because they were like really excited to know the artist. So that was really cool and a lot of people just asking me what I'm doing out here. We get a lot of people that drive by that live in the neighborhood and they just thank us for the box itself. You know, thank you for doing the artwork. We've been following you as you've been progressing. We drive by to see where you're at today. I mean, a lot, just a lot of honk, honk, uh, people honking their horns and uh, shout outs and thumbs up. You know, it's really been nice. This one's really hidden, so uh, honestly, just people just get surprised by this one. But the ones over at the streets, uh, some people stop by like, oh, what are you doing? And uh, I explain to them and like, they're really interested and it's pretty fun, you know? Sometimes you get like the screaming people like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> they they, yeah, they, they kind of surprise me sometimes, but I mean, it's all fun and stuff. So. <laughs> uh, honestly, the hardest part of doing Zap 10 is the heat. <laughs> Being out here in July, um, I've had to come out here pretty early in the morning and I can't really work more than like two or three hours before it gets too hot. But I try to stay cool. I have my umbrella and cooler. Um, I go sit in my car for a few minutes at a time in the AC. But other than that, it's been a lot of fun. Well, this is our last day pretty much because um, we're just putting the clear coat on it. No, usually I'm wearing, well, you wear what you can get away with as little as you can because of the heat and we try to get here a lot earlier. Um, the earliest I've come out here is, well, I left my house at 3.45, so I got here about four. And that was pretty nice. And then I stayed till like eight, because it got really hot that day. Jesus Orozco's my painting assistant. He started with me from the very beginning. Uh, he's a friend of mine that we both met at the Left of Center Art Gallery, which is a gallery in North Las Vegas. And, uh, we're, he's just such an easygoing guy to work with, and we work really well together. Oh, the heat, <laughs> the heat, that's probably it. But uh, honestly, it's, uh, you know, if it's something you love to do, it's not even a challenge, you know, it's just part of the, part of the work. Not even the work, it's just part of it. It's just part of the fun. I really like being in this location because there's a little park right here. So I just, I imagine when it gets a little cooler in the fall and the spring, it'll be nice to like come by and see kids playing. So I, I really feel like I got a spot that's really like in the heart of the community here. And then the words are so large, um, you know, relax and beauty and love. And so something inspiring, something, you know, when you're driving from work or to work and you're, whatever you're feeling, pressure, whatever, responsibility, you know, they can look at this like a glance, quick glance, and just remind them of, you know, to relax. The Fafel Picao has a significant images on these uh, paper artwork. This butterfly, and, the fir and it's the first one, is a memory of my dad. Whenever I see butterflies, I think of my father. And I have a very good friend, Clark Beltran, whose father passed away shortly after my dad. 
So I put a hummingbird, because a hummingbird always visited Clark's dad. And me, my symbol is a sun. We have a toucan woolly mammoth. Uh, right now I'm painting a deer lobster. Uh, so all the hybrid animals are actually representations of these, uh, the people um, that I've met in Las Vegas that means like a lot to me. And so I've taken their first and last initial and created a hybrid animal based on that person. So, so each, each side will have you know, a different hybrid animal you know, based on those people. My boxes are located on the CSN Cheyenne campus and uh, they're significant to me because I just recently graduated from CSN and uh, as a student of uh, CSN I was given the opportunity to paint and literally just give my art to an institution that has helped me uh, build myself as an artist and that has been really great for me because uh, as an artist I'm able to just give back to what they've given me, uh, not, uh, not only to the college, but to uh, Las Vegas. I usually paint really small, like on eight by 10 pieces of paper. So um, it's a lot different from doing like a small sketch to actually doing it on like a big box like this. I've done a couple murals in the past, but um, this is probably my, my biggest project so far. Um, Cause some of the murals I've done have been downtown just on small walls. So it's really fun. I like working big though. It's really fun to, um, to get to like dive in a little deeper. Well, I have actually done murals for companies as well. So I've also done, I do everything. I'm an artist. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of police officers that come by and you know, we have a beautiful cupcake and I think instead of donuts, they're gonna be wanting some cupcakes instead. Super windy. And so like the paint is just flying across the, the panels and it's kind of frustrating, but you know, it's all about, you know, the, the, the process and the experience. So, you know, I can enjoy it. <laughs>